If someone suspects they have postnatal depression, it's really important for them to seek help. A mother should seek help. Talk to a close friend, family member, partner, and definitely go and see the GP for professional help. I think people's perception of postnatal depression is women just need to get on with it and they've done it for centuries and what have you got to be moaning about and you're lucky to have a baby and we are but like it doesn't always happen like a fairy tale I thought everything was going to be perfect and it was for about a week and then slowly it declined. This is a physical illness you just can't see it where you would see a broken arm or a broken leg you know so it's very important to get help for it as soon as you can because the sooner you do get help, the sooner you will come out of it. And it will take time, it doesn't happen overnight. The most difficult symptom for me with postnatal depression was the isolation. I was very, very lonely. I didn't talk to anybody. Um, I used to go to the local shopping centre just because people would talk to you. And I know that makes me sound crazy, but um, people talked to me and that helped that they would ask questions about the baby because I had a baby. They talked to me because I had been working full time and I had lots of friends in work and I went from being at home with this tiny baby looking at the four walls. It was going to the support group um, that helped me. I met like-minded women, women that had the same problems I had and I met some good friends through the support group that I keep in touch with still. The most difficult thing for me altogether was when I went back to work after my maternity leave. That was kind of when it really hit home that I wasn't able to cope with, you know, putting on the brave face and pretending everything's fine and when people ask me how's everything just saying I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is what I did for a year, you know, that way. So it was kind of after I went back to work full time and it was in a a, re a job with, I have to deal with customers and stuff like that so it was more when I used to sit and cry all day in work and people would be just like well, what's wrong and I'd be like I just don't know that it was when it really hit home that I had to go and get something done because I couldn't go on like this in work when it was just at home with me and the baby I could sit and cry all day but nobody would know about me and the baby you know that kind of a way so I think that's when it really hit home that I had to do something about it any advice I would give someone would not be to wait as long as I did to go get help as soon as you're starting to feel bad. I suppose if I had gone when I first started to feel bad, I could be like back in work now, could be off the medication, could be starting to feel myself again, you know, but I waited a long time. Early intervention and education with this illness is really, really important. And you can be really well and it really is okay to talk about it.